Hey everybody, uh, so I've been asked to do a tutorial by a lot of people in the groups of how I've made these uh, embellishments. I don't know if you can see that uh, properly, but yeah, pinwheel with a wax seal uh, on them. So I'll talk you through the steps to make them. Uh, I've made loads. <laughs> um, I've made a hell of a lot of them. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to show you how to make them. Okay, so the first part that you need to do is you need two larger squares. I'm just using a really basic cardstock as it's only for embellishments. If I was using it on a journal, I'd probably use something a bit heavier. I think this is about 120 uh, GSM. So the first thing that you need to do is cut your squares to two and three quarter inches. And you need two of those. So there's your two squares for that. Now, the next thing that you need is your paper that you want to use for making the smaller squares. Uh, and you need eight of these um, in corresponding colours. Um, I usually use scraps, but I've used up most of my scraps making all of the different ones that I've made recently. Um, but you need eight squares at one and a quarter inches each so you want it in your first color and your corresponding color that matches up with your theme and you need four each of that one and four each of my second one okay so you should now have two of these and four each of your two kinds of scrap paper now the easiest way to do this is to line up your square on a grid and center your second square, like so. Once that's in there, pop a little blob of glue on the back just to hold it for a second. And then I just go around the edges and just glue them. You can be really rough, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna see any of that. Okay. So once that's in place, okay, so, ooh. so then we're just going to go around and just colour those edges in a little bit. Okay, so you just need something that looks a bit like that. Now you do all around the edges of all your paper pieces. Okay, so all the pieces are done. Now, to basically just assemble it. Um, the first and the last part go on slightly differently. So your first part, you just want just a bit of glue along one edge only. And you're gonna position that just in that corner. If you can just see in there. So you just want that top edge glued on this one, okay? So now your second piece, you're going to come up this edge and then across the top. And it's so simple. You just pop that one in there, press down that side, press down the top. Okay. And then carry that on until your last piece. Okay. So you've got all the pieces except for the last one. Are in place so you should now be looking like this just see if you can see that properly so the last piece there's many ways to do this but i prefer to do it this way because then you can move it about if you mess it up it doesn't matter so just slide it behind your first piece which is why we didn't glue that edge down to begin with and then i line it up make sure it's where it needs to be oh knock it out of where it needs to be and then just go behind it and dab your bit of glue in there and along that top edge. Okay. So that's your last piece in place now. Now you can embellish the middle of it however you want. Um, I've been using wax seals, which everybody seemed to really like. And I, I tend to make them in batches and then glue them onto things later. 
um preparation is the key uh but you can also you know you could if you were using it on a cover you could make a ribbon rose or something like that or you could put a big gem in the middle of it or you know basically whatever the heck you wanted to but for the purposes of the tutorial where people were asking i'm going to make the assumption that most of you know about making wax seals um although what i will say is i found that if you're just using them for decorations like this and not to actually seal um i batch make them using crayons and hot glue <laughs> um so you need just a a normal glue stick and cut it into little pieces get the color crayon that you want and cut that into little chunks as well and then melt it the same way as you would normally in your candle um in your wax burner and then you can just pour that out and make stamps the same way as usual and they they don't go bad or anything like that so that's what that one is made of is just the hot glue and a brown wax crayon i think i put some gold mica powder in with that one as well um so yeah it, it really is that simple and then you can just glue it into whatever the hell you want to <laughs> or just tuck it inside and uh and you're done so sorry about my first ever video tutorial so hopefully it's uh easy to follow but if there's any questions just let me know